Scooby-Doo Adventures, the mystery map is a 2013 film directed by Joe McNorf, written by Tosh E. Mob, and we have a voice cast including Frank Welker, Stephanie D'Abruzzo, Gray Griffin, Matthew Lillard, Dee Bradley Baker, and many more. And I will say the voice acting, one of the only good things about this. There are a few things I really didn't like about this, but the narrative itself is okay. This is a feature film it's about 45 minutes so it's just feature length and this is actually a puppet film and in general not a huge fan of puppet films so that part was never going to appeal to me that much but honestly some of the puppets look absolutely terrible some look okay i'd say scooby shaggy and velma look fine but daphne looks horrendous Fred is not great, but I don't hate the puppet. But I really do not like the design of Velma. But in general, I didn't care for the puppets. It's not that the puppetry work is bad. I just didn't particularly find it that pleasing. The narrative, as I said, is okay. They are trying to chase this treasure map and they come across some suspicious characters. And I'll say no more than that because obviously it's quite a short film. But we have a bit of a pirate adventure. So if you're into pirate stories then the narrative might appeal to you i don't have too many thoughts on it i didn't care for the narrative too much but there's nothing really wrong with it but the other thing that i really didn't like is the fact that i'd say the entire second half is at night so it's very dimly lit and it's very dark i was squinting to see certain things it's just not interesting to look at And I really thought that was a terrible idea, at least with the first half. Sure, I don't love the design of some of the puppets, but we have a lot of bright colours. It's engaging. It's visually quite appealing with the colour palette, at least. And then the second half, they've just basically turned the lights one step away from off. And it's just far too dimly lit to be appealing at all. I know they were trying to go for spooky atmosphere, but it was just annoying more than anything else. So that coupled with some pretty unsightly puppets. Some not too bad, as I said, but some definitely not. Again, not the puppet work. I just, I'm not a fan of puppets in general and the style of some of them I just don't love. And I think Velma just looks very generic. The outfit, not too bad, but the others, even though I don't completely love the style of Fred, the others do actually very much look like their characters. Whereas if you showed me the Velma puppet out of context... I don't think my thought would be, that's Velma from Scooby-Doo. The rest of them, they're definitely recognisable at the very least. Do I recommend it? Not unless you're a huge Scooby-Doo fan, because I don't think it has that much to offer. Or if you're a big puppet fan. I will admit that I'm not a fan of puppets, so that part was never going to work for me. But I can see that the puppets do look, most of them look like their characters. And the colour palette in the first half is quite appealing. And the narrative itself works well. But the second half, they've turned the lights pretty much off. And it's not satisfying at all. Voice acting, pretty good. Very good, in fact, as I said. So Scooby-Doo Adventures, the mystery map, is not what I would consider to be a good Scooby-Doo film. But if you're a huge fan of Scooby or puppet-based films, give it a go. You might like it, but it definitely isn't for me.